Talking Walls Art for the People by Katasha Diaz Genre A photo essay relies on photographs to help give factual information. What information do you get from the photos in this selection? Immigrants travel to America from all over the world. They leave behind homes and villages in their native countries for the promise of a better life and for the freedom this country has to offer. The people in America enjoy many different kinds of freedom, including the freedom of artistic expression. Writers, musicians, dancers, and artists are free to speak their minds through their art in any way they choose. Do you know that some painters use walls as their canvas? These painted walls are called murals and are often painted in public places for all the people of the community to see. Muralists are asked by a town, school, or business to create a work of art on a wall. Muralists paint many different kinds of murals. Some are inside, some are outside. Some tell the history of a town and everyday life of the people who settled there. Others show special celebrations and community festivals. Still others depict symbols of American freedom and democracy at work. All are great examples of artistic expression at its best. Immigrant On the walls of a meat market in Los Angeles is a mural about immigrants painted by Hector Ponce. It tells the history of the people who live in the Pico and Hoover neighborhood. This mural, titled Immigrant, shows the Statue of Liberty just beyond reach and Latin American immigrants working hard to provide for their families. Do you see a woman with young children, a man selling bags of oranges, a seamstress, and a man looking for cans to recycle? Hector Ponce, the artist, came from El Salvador more than 15 years ago. He says, My mural shows what's in the hearts of many people who come to this country looking for a better life. Reach high and you will go far. Before artist Joshua Sarantitis creates a mural, he talks with the people of the community. He listens to their stories about the neighborhood. He interprets their stories by making sketches, and then he makes plans for the painting of the mural. Over the years, Sarantitis has created many public murals across America, including Reach High and You Will Go Far. This mural honors the hopes and dreams of the many children who live in a downtown neighborhood in Philadelphia. The painting is beautiful. It shows a young girl with her arms held high. Her hands and fingers become a tree rising over the building. The artist fashioned the top of the tree as a billboard extending above the roof to show how people can grow and change. The mural encourages children to reach for the future through education. A Shared Hope Paul Botello was eight years old when he began helping his older brother, David, paint murals. Paul loved painting murals and was inspired to become an artist like his brother. When Paul graduated from high school, he went on to college to study art. Today, he creates and paints murals, and he teaches art, too. Paul painted a special mural called A Shared Hope for an elementary school in Los Angeles, California. Most of the students at Esperanza School are immigrants from Central America. The mural speaks to the school children. It tells them that education is the key to success. At the top of the mural, a teacher helps guide her students over the building blocks of life. Students are standing at the bottom of the painting, holding objects that symbolize their future. Their parents stand behind to help guide and support them. Teachers, students, and parents from the school posed for the artist and his assistants as they created the mural. Education, hope, and immigration are my themes, says Paul Botello. People immigrate to the United States because they hope for a better life. Through education, a better life can be accomplished. Dreams of Flight 
David Botello, the older brother of Paul, loved to paint and dreamed of becoming an artist. When he was in the third grade, he and his art partner, Wayne Healy, painted a mural of a dinosaur in art class. Little did David know that that dinosaur mural was the first of many murals he would paint with Wayne. Years later, the childhood friends, now both artists, decided to go into business together painting murals. David and Wayne often create and paint murals together, but not always. David painted a large mural called Dreams of Flight at Estrada Courts, a public housing project in Los Angeles. He says, I've always wanted this mural to speak to the children who see it and to say, your dreams can come true. It's interesting to note that when the artist repainted the mural 17 years after it was originally completed, he changed one of the children from a boy to a girl. Much had changed over the years, and the artist wanted all children to know that girls can dream of flying model airplanes, too. It is the artist's hope that over time the mural will inspire many of the children who see it to work hard and follow their dreams. Talking Walls Cities, large and small, invite artists to paint special murals in public places for everyone to see. Murals are talking walls. They speak to the people. Community murals tell stories of personal, political, and social beliefs of the local residents. Some murals inspire or amuse us, while others stir our hearts. From Sea to Shining Sea, the artists who create art for the people are instrumental in reminding Americans everywhere of the freedoms that help our democracy work.